What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, guys. We sold out our first Superb Owl Super Bowl mixer on our website here, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This first one we're doing here, guys, is a Jazbees Hit Parade SB Mixer Memorabilia Edition, where everything is memorabilia. 70 total boxes, including full-size helmet, mini helmets, and jerseys, and it is a random team break. So we kind of gave you a little bit of a preview here of what kind of names you could be seeing, as well as here, here, Right there, right there, right there. So you know those hits should be caught popping out. I mean, I'd assume they are. Uh, so obviously, if you get randomized one of those teams, you're pretty much guaranteed those hits. Uh, so remember, obviously, we are giving away 32 Super Bowl squares, uh, promo spots away. So basically, if you have a spot on this break, uh, you get a Super Bowl square. Um, now remember, random teams, all exclusive product made by Hip Parade only for Jaspies here. Uh, and of course, as an added bonus, we hope this doesn't happen to you. But if there is a chance that this might happen, uh, if you don't get an item, not one hit, not one item in this break, you will get your $5.99 back, $600 in break credit value. So uh, it's kind of a little good thing in that sense, but we hope we get something, of course. Um, and of course, uh, you know, it's either gonna break Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today, Saturday, we have two days, today and tomorrow to break the next one here for the Super Bowl. And again, this mixer includes 10 Hip Parade autographed full-size helmets, big game edition, exclusively for us. 30 boxes of Hip Parade mini helmets, and 30 boxes of autographed jerseys. So, um, here we go, guys. So thank you guys for the customers that bought in straight up. If you have Fat Pack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 at the end of your name, that means you won that for a fraction of the price through a filler. Thank you guys, and congratulations, of course. Um, here are all the teams as well. So I'm going to click dice roll, randomize them. It is a three, one, and a two. Let's click the randomized one, two, and three. Boom. Three times, three times. Jacob down to Randy. And then, of course, three times here on the list of teams. One, two, three. Three, three, three. Chargers at the top, down to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the bottom. All right, three times, three times. So, Jacob, you have the Los Angeles Chargers. Michael Gallucci with the Ravens. Matt with the Cardinals last one. Well, Joe Kupperman, you have the Jaguars. Brian Brady with the Detroit Lions. Stober, you have the Dolphins. Brian S. with the Saints. Kupperman, you have the Texans. Jason K. with the Chiefs. Adam with the Titans. John with the Packers. Aaron, you got the Pittsburgh Steelers. John with the Bears. Nick with the Seahawks. Josh with the Falcons. Brian S. with the Panthers. David with the Colts. Joe with the Broncos. Arthur with the Cowboys. John with the Commanders, as well as the Bills. Ryan Presna, you have the Bengals. Nico with the 49ers. Nick with the Giants. Josh with my Eagles. Brian Wofford with the Browns, Gregory with the Patriots, Chris with the Raiders, uh, Adam Copperman with the Vikings, Karen Steele with the Rams, Jacob with the Jets, and then Randy with the Buccaneers. Now, I will uh, give you guys some time to trade, so I'm going to pause the video so that way this video is not extremely, extremely long, uh, that way people have time to trade, and if you make a trade, cool, we'll announce it, if not, stick to what you got, we'll come back and we'll rip this, guys, thank you. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, looks like, well, I guess my printer is out of paper. At least that's what it looks like. Yeah, no paper. Alright, so, uh, we tried to trade, but we couldn't. So, try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for a couple of these teams here. Um, so, here we go, guys. Let's, uh, start this. So, it's kind of hard to show everything. I, I think you guys can see it in my little mini, well, camera angle right here, right? We got 30 jerseys here. We got 30 mini helmets there. And then right here stacked up the 10 full size. So I'm just gonna start off with the jerseys first and then we'll work our way to the mini helmets and we'll end off with the full size helmets. So here we go. So just to show you guys what it kind of looks like there. Jaspi's exclusive. They're all hand numbered to 30. So we got some here that we can uh, we can do here. All right. Uh, let's also raise this table up a little bit too, because it's a little too short for me. Oh, 
that works. Here we go then, guys. And I'm not gonna play Who Am I, guys? Just because there's 70 of these. Or 30 of these, but 70 total, so. We'll showcase the stuff, but. Won't take too long per item. Alright, first one here, guys. Here we go. That looks like a Brandon Ayuk to me. And yes, it is. Brandon Ayuk. There's the BA right there. Beckett COA. First one off the board is going to go to the 49ers. And who has the 49ers? Nico, who got that from Fat Pack 7. There you go. On the board. Next one. Number 25. Alright, next one. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, a couple of them might like this one. I feel like that's a Curtis Martin. Curtis Martin right there. Nice signature too. PSA. And it actually looks like a real jersey. I think that Brown and Eagle is definitely a custom. I think this one actually might be an actual jersey. Yeah. Looks like the NFL tags are all in there. XL. I don't want to take it out because it's folded really nicely. but Curtis Martin for the Jets. That's going to Jacob. All right, here we go. Next one. And for the Dolphins. Nice. Devon Achan. You guys see the Achan right there? 28. Autographed there with a little Beckett COA. Devon HN for the Miami Dolphins. Going to Stober. like a Ronde Barber. Nice signature there at the bottom. Kind of hard to see it though, right? Sure, it's right there. Oh, kind of hard to see it. It looks like officially licensed jersey as well, guys. Ronde Barber. Kind of right there if you guys can see it. There at the bottom. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bucks going to Randy.
Alrighty, next one. Nice. Is that Justin Fields? Yes, it is. Justin Fields. Chicago Bears jersey. So Justin Fields. Bears. John Jackson, which I don't know if he's going to be a bear for long, but this is a bear, though. For some reason, I don't know why, I thought number one Colt, and I was thinking Pat McAfee, which I thought would be awesome. But, uh, no, Jeter Downs, though. Probably a lot better, right? Jeter Downs. Or, sorry, not Jeter Downs, sorry. not Why did I say Jeter Downs? Joshua Downs. I think he's a baseball player, probably. Um, Colts. David B. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Next one. Williams, number 23. Who's this? Kyron Williams. There you go. It's a custom jersey, but Kyron Williams there for the Rams. That's pretty sweet. So Williams, 23. There's the ink. COA. Kyron Williams. Karen Steele. Number 17, Evan Ingram for the Jaguars. Looks like a custom jersey as well. But, EE, -E, Beckett COA, Jacksonville Jaguars, win a cup on the board. Alright, next one. How many have I done already? About to be our ninth jersey so far. I have 21 more to go after this. And it looks like a Sam Laporta. Looks like a custom jersey as well for the Lions. Beckett COA though, but Sam Laporta 
Brian Brady with the Lions. Yeah, I mean, look, if this was all officially licensed, I guarantee you uh, these this mixer would be a lot more expensive. Officially licensed Fanatics jerseys, boxes go from like $300 to $400 a box compared to custom jersey boxes, which also have some officially licensed jerseys, but those sell for significantly a lot cheaper. Than these, so I think at the end of the day, if you're just gonna, if you're gonna put it in a frame on your wall, I don't think you really need to see the logos anyways because you're just showing the back of the jersey. But, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I, I, sometimes it's better to get officially licensed, but it's a lot more expensive. So it's like a love and hate thing. All right. Is that Kurt Warner? How about that? Well, this one is not custom. This one's officially licensed. You can tell right away. Signed it right here, right at the bottom. Big old Kurt Warner signature on there. Another one for the Rams. I think that's our first team that's got in two jerseys so far. Uh, Karen Steve. People thought he got snubbed from the from the first ballot Hall of Fame voting, but Antonio Gates. There you go, Antonio Gates for the Chargers. Going to Jacob. Next one, box 23 of 30. I haven't been keeping track, but I just noticed 23. Let's see what they could put at number 23. And it's number 33. Looks like Jamal Williams for the Denver Broncos. So there you go. There's the signature there. See away there at the bottom. Denver Broncos on the board. Joe, who bought him straight up. The hell, man, are people racing out there? Portis? Yeah, Clint Portis. Washington Commanders Edition. For real, Jaspi Grand Prix out there, for real. Washington Commanders, John Jackson.
And number 87. What's this? Musin Muhammad. Looks like Carolina Panthers, I assume, right? There's a signature there. Let me double check that. I'm pretty sure it's Carolina Panthers, though. Yes. Oh, no wonder I don't recognize him. He's like he's an older player. Played in the 90s for the Panthers. Was a second round pick. Went to Michigan State as well. Part of the Carolina Panthers Ring of Honor. Longest touchdown reception in the Super Bowl 85. From Jake DeLome. Oh, that's kind of cool. He went back to the Panthers after two. Yeah, no, well, this is a Panthers jersey, obviously. But yeah, he did play for the Bears, too. Wow. This dude must have went to the Super Bowl twice then, because he went with the Panthers, and then he probably went with the Bears and played against the Colts, right? That's awesome. Alrighty. Carolina Panthers, though, with that one. That's going to go to Brian S. surprise in here about a Bryce Young Carolina Panthers jersey and that one actually looks officially licensed as well see there's a little bit of surprises in here right there's the tag right here too you guys want to know this jersey is almost a $300 jersey alone how about that that's sweet another one for the Panthers Brian so that's a sweet one to get right there Got a Christian Watson jersey. Green Bay Packers. Christian Watson for the Green Bay Packers. That's going to John Jackson. Also, I kind of want to keep track too. Just in case. But uh basically Brian
Okay, cool. I'm trying to keep track of how many people I've hit so far, too. Alright, next one. We got a scary Terry McLaurin. That's pretty awesome. Washington Commanders again. There's the autograph there. John Jackson. got to be more than halfway there of these ones, right? So we have this one here, and I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so there's 13 left. Yeah, we're halfway there. More than halfway of this jersey's first. And is that a Jake Plummer? Not Jake Plummer, no. Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers for the Raiders. Raiders, I believe, on the board now. Chris Parent. This was serial number box one of 30. This is the first one they handwritten, or hand wrote, I should say. So let's see what's in this one. And it looks like a CD lamb for the Cowboys. And that looks like an actually officially licensed jersey. Yep, it is officially licensed. CD Lamb jersey. Very nice one there for the Cowboys. Going to Arthur. Next one here, guys. Wow. This is not George Pickens' autograph, is it? Usually it looks like a banana. But it's Pickens, all right. Maybe he changed his autograph. Custom jersey, of course. There's the COA right there. George Pickens. Steelers on the board, Aaron. Maybe they told him, uh, you need to sign better. Or we're not going to pay you. All right, Aaron on the board. Taylor. I think this JSA is hiding the autograph right here. Or no, it's up here actually, sorry. There it is right there.
Oh, Lawrence Taylor. New York Giants going to Nick. Sit down for some of these ones here since we're getting to the bottom of the car. We have a Houston Oilers jersey, it looks like. Earl Campbell. That's the autograph there. Oh, it looks like Pickens' autograph is slightly different when he signs on memorabilia than cards. Might be because there's more room to sign. Sure, that makes sense, right? All right, Houston Oilers, of course, Tennessee Titans. Which is covering. Oh, is there? Oh, shoot. You're right. It's actually... Uh, it's one of those other custom jerseys where, like, they have all the career stats and stuff. I don't want to pull it out all, but yeah. So I guess when you display it, it'll say Earl Christian Campbell... 9,400 career rushing yards, uh, 74 career rushing touchdowns, three-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year. So actually, if you decide to sell this, Adam, this probably goes for a little bit more money. Just because people kind of like all this extra stats on this. So, something to think about right there. Good catch, Mike. All right, next one. Almost winding down, guys. With the jerseys, at least. Zay Flowers. I actually don't even remember what his autograph looks like, but definitely not George Pickens. <laughs> there you go. Baltimore Ravens on the board. Michael Gallucci. Zay's actually a pretty, pretty good receiver.
And how about a Michael Vick Atlanta Falcons edition? There we go. It's a custom one, but still Michael Vick. Atlanta Falcons going to Josh on the board too, buddy. I don't really need it. We got ourselves a TJ Hawkinson. This is a Vikings TJ Hawkinson, of course. There we go. There's the autograph there. COA. Vikings. Copperman. Few more to go with the jerseys, guys, and we're done with them. And is this guy gonna have a big game in the Super Bowl this year, guys? Tomorrow, Rasheed Rice, little RR. And does he have his own too? That's okay. That's another COA there too. Rasheed Rice for the Kansas City Chiefs. Jason K. Few more to go, guys. Then we'll move on to the mini helmets. Whoa. I wonder if uh, Nick requested this one in there for me. Or for us, I should say. Donovan McNabb for my Eagles. Custom jersey, but there's this ink right there. There's the COA. Does he have his own COA, too? Good. There you go. Go Birds! Josh, on the board. Three more guys, and then we're done with the jerseys. And we 
got a... Looks like a Devin Singletary, right? Yep, Devin Singletary. And that looks like a Buffalo Bills edition as well. Bills. John Jackson. I would approve of that. I would approve of it being all Eagles and Raiders. We'll throw in a card on there for Michael too. There's that Josh Allen we previewed. There's the autograph there. And uh, to be honest, I think this is an officially licensed jersey, but it's kind of one of those uh, those uh, NFL Nike, uh, I guess Nike custom jerseys. I don't, I don't think, obviously, they wear these, but it's one of those really cool ones, though. Let's see if I can get these in. All right, well... Either way, you know which one it is. I'm trying to see if I can get the tag out there, but don't want to unfold this nicely. So there you go, Josh Allen, jump. There's the one you were expecting, I assume. I wonder what number they put it in. What, what box number was this? This was 29 of 30. Last jersey right here, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just I'd hope so, Ryan. <laughs> I'd hope it's in here. And there you go. Jamar Chase. Also officially licensed as well. I can tell right away it's a Nike jersey. So you're good to go there. Hey, man. You know, Hip Parade's human too, man. It is a repack product, so... I wouldn't doubt it's happened a few times. Okay, so let's put the Bengals off the board there. All right, so it seems like uh, for the first 30 hits, it seems like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only about, oh, actually, sorry, six Eagles a hit or something. So I feel like we didn't call the Seahawks, the Saints, the Patriots. The Texans and Browns with the Cardinals, it looks like, right? So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so that's not that, that, that's not that terrible. We still have another 50 items to go or 40 items to go. So give me a quick minute, guys. Let me move this out of the way.
Alrighty guys, so here we go. Let's go with the mini helmets now. First one we got here is the Kansas City Chiefs and Travis Kelsey. There you go, right on the board. Kansas City Chiefs, Jason K. And I believe, didn't we preview that? I thought we previewed one of those. Although that looked like a full size helmet to me, but I guess it could be a mini helmet. All right, Travis Kelsey on the board. Rex. Next one. And a really nice Pittsburgh Steelers mini helmet. Oh, Jerome Bettis. And look at that signature there, guys. Man, the signature is so nice. And then a flat black collection. Really awesome helmet. There you go, Aaron on the board, buddy. Again. With the mini helmets this time now. with this paper, bro. Alright, we got an Arizona Cardinal. And, uh, I don't know the other guy. J.J. Watt, actually. There you go. J.J. Watt. Very nice. Cardinals are now on the board officially. And that's going to Matt, who got last ball mojo. Future Hall of Famer, J.J. Watt.
Jacksonville Jaguar. And that's Zay Jones. Jacksonville Jaguar. Nice mini helmet there. Jacksonville going to cup. And we got for the Houston Texans an Eclipse alternate helmet. And it's Nico Collins. What a great year this year. Nico Collins is his baller. Very nice. And Copperman's Texans are on the board now. And then we have a Kenneth Walker flash alternate helmet for the Seahawks. Looks freaking awesome. Very nice. Seahawks are now officially on the board. Nick with that one. I'm glad they packed this gray like this. Jesus Christ. Bro. Tommy DeVito. <laughs> How about Tommy DeVito? Making it into this product here. Giants. Going to Nick.
we have for the Patriots? Drew Bledsoe. This is autograph right there. Patriots speed Drew Bledsoe jersey. Uh, how many helmet I should say? Gregory on the board now. Here we go, another mini helmet. We're almost one third of the way with the mini helmets, guys. Oh, this is a cool helmet. I think that's a Browns helmet. It's one of those flash alternates, though. David Njoku. Cleveland Browns. Brian Watford. You were on the board, bud. It seems like, guys, to my knowledge, keeping track, the only team that hasn't got something yet so far is the New Orleans Saints. We got another Giants mini How This time it's a beautiful signature Lawrence Taylor. Giants is Nick. There's that one of those salutes of service previews we showed you guys. Jordan Love. That's a very nice mini helmet right there. Had a great season here. Finally as a full-time starter as well. So that's going to go to uh, Green Bay Packers' John Jackson. number one of 30. And for the Raiders, Josh Jacobs.
for Raiders, going to Chris. Almost halfway there. And for the Dallas Cowboys, that's Rico. Dwaldo or Dodwell? Dodwell? There you go. Cowboys! Went to Arthur. We got for the Baltimore Ravens, Kyle Hamilton. Ravens. That's Michael Valucci. Yeah, for the Atlanta Falcons Lunar Eclipse mini helmet. It's uh, Tyler Alligator. Falcons. Going to Josh. That's a cool mini helmet. we go so I want to say yeah we got two four six eight twelve four, yeah we're about to be halfway through There's that Peyton Manny. Very nice. Colts. What did David be?
Alrighty, here we go. About to be halfway through, I think, after this one for sure. And we're about at the hour, 10 minute mark or so. Recording at least. I didn't record the uh, trade window, so. Probably be done like one hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes maybe or so. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, Rashad White. Randy with the Bucks. And for the Baltimore Ravens, we got a Mark Andrews mini helmet. Baltimore Ravens by Gallucci. Twenty of thirty. Nice green helmet popping up. Let's see what we got here. It looks like Gary Wilson. Nice jet green right there. Uh, Jets is Jacob. that look like we might have not gotten yet. So either the Tyree kills a full size or it's a mini helmet. One or the other. like Nick Chubb. Hopefully he bounces back. He had that scary injury. Cleveland Browns. Bernard Bryan.
Um, really cool Washington Commanders helmet. Look at that little scary Terry McLaurin. And this is when they were the Washington football team. Commanders going to John. Do we have a dual autograph? Is that Raheem Moster and uh, yeah, Devon Achan? So Raheem Moster, Devon Achan, dual mini helmet for the Miami Dolphins. That's awesome. Nick Stober. There you go. The one-two punch right there. One sec, guys. No, my drop my camera. I gotta put it back on. Oh, you need help? Anything no, I'm good. Doing? Okay, hey, check this out real quick. That's cool, man. Yeah. Why is it not connecting, huh? Hold on, one second, guys. I might just have to add a new one. Please run Camera Hub to use Elgato Virtual Camera. Pretty connected, bro. What the hell happened here?
All right, I'm gonna have to put a new camera, guys. Sorry. Looks like this other part messed up, not just the camera. All right, one second, guys. No, nah, it's the camera wire. This camera, this USB part just ripped off. Which leads me to believe I think it broke. So. All right, I'm gonna pause the video really quick, guys. Don't worry, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna set up a new camera, right? Alrighty, guys, we're back. Sorry, the camera's fine. I just, this, this little piece just ripped off and I don't know, I just can't figure it out right now. So, I'll switch it, try to switch it back after. But, um, let's continue on. We had a few more mini helmets to go. And uh, then we'll move on to the full-size helmets. So, new camera, we'll mess with this if I have to uh, fix any type of coloring or uh, contrast slash um, see if the picture's a little blurry off. But here we go. mini helmet here. It's a Titans one. And it looks like Tajay Spears. Tajay Spears mini helmet. There you go. So Tajay Spears Titans. Uh, Copperman. And also, Greg, I don't... Also, I just I just realized that I think you have the Patriots. Uh, Brian actually has the Saints. You have the Patriots. Also. So, you're good. You've gotten a hit. Brian, on the other hand, hasn't gotten a Saints hit yet, but he's got another hit so far from his other teams. Yeah. 
And for the Los Angeles Chargers. Is that Keenan Allen's autograph? Looks like it. Yep. Keenan Allen for the Chargers. Jacob with that one. Chargers, Jacob, that one. Alright, looks like we have about six more mini to go. So let me just stack them up here, actually. See them. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Let's do it. Alrighty, here we go. So three here, three there. Those are the last six. God for the Lions. Don't tell me that's Jameson Williams. It looks like a J. Yes, it is. Jameson Williams. The speedster. Lions going to Brian. Where's my marker at? Watch right. Lions going to Brian. I have five more to go. for the Jacksonville Jaguars. That is Fred Taylor. Jaguar is going to cover me. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell if the hills of mini are a full size. 
<laughs> I mean, when the picture's blown up like that, it looks like it's a full size. But. And for the Saints! You got a Saints hit! Lunar Eclipse. It is a Chris Olave. This one's a perfect time to uh, fix the. Uh, So Saints are now officially on the board, guys. I think they only put that in there, guys, just in case there was a little mistake and maybe they didn't pack one hit in there by accident, but... There you go, Brian. for the Titans. I don't know who that is. Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. And Titans covering. No smiles to go, guys. Then we have the full size helmets coming up. All right. Ooh, that's a nice little eagle salute to service. That's Randall Cunningham. Cool helmet. Go birds, Josh. Mini helmet, guys. And it looks like it's gonna be a giant mini helmet. And that is Otis Anderson for the Giants. Nick with that one.
Alrighty, guys. Down to the last ten items here. Here we go. Um, I'm assuming these are hand number two. Yeah, one of ten. Jaspie's big game exclusive. Okay, let me open it over here. I feel like you guys can probably see a little bit better over here. First one. Wow, this is nice right here. Amonra St. Brown, I believe, right? I gotta say something in here. Yep, Amonra St. Brown. Full size lion helmet. Gee, it looks pretty darn sweet. Detroit Lions going to Brian. second one. Oh, that's a nice Falcons one, dude. Really nice Falcons helmet in here. And it has an inscription, too. Look at that. Beautiful. Drake London. 2022 first round pick. Sweet helmet right there, man. Atlanta Falcons going to Josh.
All right, let's jump over the next one. Yeah, it's a ran wrap is gnarly, dude. Alright, let's go with the next one. See what we got. Ooh. Saints had, hadn't gotten much into the mini helmets. Now got them size a full size helmet. And it looks like it's Drew Brees. There you go. Nice full size Drew Brees helmet. And that's gonna go to uh, Brian. Future Hall of Famer. Yep, Drew Brees. So we know Tyree Kill has to be hiding in here somewhere. Got a nice surprise Drew Brees one. I feel like we're gonna get like a good 2023 rookie. Cool Seahawks helmet. Is that? What is that? Oh wow. Okay. Here's a 2023 draft pick. Very, very nice one too. Look at this. Man, this helmet's sweet. Jackson Smith and the Jigba. This is the mini helmet there for the Seahawks. Great receiver. And uh, Seahawks going to Nick as well, who just got uh, uh, some stuff earlier as well. I'm trying to think what other Seahawks you would hit earlier. Oh, 
Seahawk Snick of After this, we are halfway through. We have six total left. After this, we'll have five. Here we go. Woo! Houston Texans? Oh man. Another teaser, but what the hell? I've never seen a Houston Texans helmet like this. Is this an alternate helmet? Nico Collins again, though. I wish that was a CJ Stroud, but... Is that a retro helmet or something? Nonetheless, though, pretty cool one. Copperman for the Texans. All right, here we go. Helmet number six. Jaguars helmet. I was just trying to figure out who the hell that was, but I see it. So Calvin Ridley. There's the ink right there. Kind of see the studio light there, but really nice, really nice helmet actually. 
And Kupperman, man, he's, he's hitting all, he's hitting the AFC South. Man, Kupperman, you're gonna, your mail day is gonna be wild. It's gonna get delivered in a pallet. Multiple boxes. I don't think we're gonna put this in one huge box, but all right. Well, one of these four has to be a Tyree kill. So, unless, like I said, there was a boo boo. Another full-size helmet for Josh and the Falcons. And it's that same, like, you know, custom color. But this time it's the great Michael Vick. That is sweet, man. That is awesome. way congrats man obviously it's kind of cool not knowing what's in here minus the Tyreek but you know getting two full-size helmets is awesome now you've been waiting to say that huh Rex feels heavier than normal. 
yes, Mike, every team has hit so far. I believe Nick just did that just in case, because obviously Hip Parade, is, is, you know, it's repacking, just like us with Jaspi's Hip Packs and stuff like that, so we're human, we could mess up. So I think he did that just to be safe, like, hey man, well, if something, one team doesn't hit nothing, then we're willing to give you back a refund and credit, obviously. But, uh, yeah, every team has hit so far. A lot, some more than others, obviously, but... It is on both editions, Mike. If you go look at the card edition, it also tells you that one there, too. Alright, this is probably the tighter kill unless there's two of them. Sick helmet, man. Tyree kill. I assume that's his signature. <laughs> yep, Tyree kill. So that is going to. It's over! Dolphins have had a good break, man. I don't know if you've seen earlier, you had that uh, uh, dual mini helmet. That's what broke our camera, basically. <laughs> uh, it was like A-Chan and uh, Raheem Oster. And you know what? This one's heavy, dude. I don't know if that's like a... I don't know. That's why that felt heavy, probably. This one feels like you could put on this helmet and they're gonna play in the NFL right now. Helmet is bigger. It's not going in as easy as the other ones. Do they probably got like one of those real like you know how they make new mesh helmets like where it's like protecting for for concussions and stuff? Feels like it's one of those big ass helmets. Last two.
Dude, all right, I'm almost breaking for two hours doing this mixer, bro. Who am I would have added another two hours? Plus, I'm trying to get that other mixer done tonight for you guys. Hall of Fame inscription on that one. ED. Well, this one even has like this extra authenticity right here. Look at it. Look at this guy. He's signing right here. And he has a little Eric Dickerson stamp right there. Come on, man. It's legit. It's legit. Oh, yeah, Rex? You want to see something really, really funny? Time out. For you, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Limited edition, you're right. <laughs> oh, you guys can see that it doesn't say like timed out. <laughs> I thought it did before. I thought I thought it would say like Rex has been timed out for 500 seconds or something like that. I only gave him a one minute timeout. It's like kind of like him. Uh, Rams though, I think that's Karen Steele, right? Yes. Um, actually, I only have my jersey. I never got to keep my helmet. I wanted to. A couple of my friends did, and they actually got away with it, but I didn't get away with it. They were going to, like, charge me a shit ton of money, and my parents weren't going to pay for it, so I, uh, I had to give it back. But I did keep my jersey, though, and other stuff, but the helmet I did not. Too many people, our senior class, there was so many of us, too many people kept it that, like, they realized none of us turned it in. Alrighty. Final hit of the break. Any guesses who it's going to be? Brett's calling Cowboys. Willie Beeman. Uh, that could be. Justin Jefferson for Adam. Kittle. Bettis. All right. Higgins. B. John Robinson. Man, if this was a B. John Robinson, Josh, that would be wild. <laughs> I think people would hate you in this chat right now. <laughs> they would be, well, they would hate that they don't have the Falcons, I should say. I'll play who am I for this one, okay? Just because we're here at the end. 
gonna take a. Well, actually, I don't even need to take a peek. Oh yeah, Rex. Oh yeah. Another timeout. And now I'm just having fun. It's fun. <laughs> All right, I'm a current receiver in the NFL. I am six foot two, weighing 211 pounds. Was a third round pick about 10 years ago. I won NFL Comeback Player of the Year. I'm a six time Pro Bowler. Have over 10,000 receiving yards and 59 receiving touchdowns. I went to high school in North Carolina. I went to Cal as my college and was a third round pick in the 2013 NFL draft. Not Cup, not Chase, not Moss, not Jefferson. Good, good, good. Guess on Deshaun Jackson because he did go to Cal, but not him. Deshaun Jackson went to Cal in like 2005 to like 2007. Chad. Chad got it. And it is Keenan Allen. It looks like a salute to service helmet too. For the Chargers. <laughs> Deshaun Jackson, that's true, Brett. Deshaun Jackson ain't no 6'2". He's like 5'10", barely. 5'10". <laughs> Alrighty, there you go. Very nice helmet. A little LA in the front too. Really cool helmet, actually. Don't really see these too often. And Chargers, who has the Chargers? Uh, Jacob. There you go. <laughs> I, that would be cool if they were game worn. <laughs> A recap would be funny. Alrighty, guys. There you go. Oh. So, let's uh, switch scenes and I'm going to put your guys' names in the Super Bowl squares. Randomize it. That would be funny if I did that though. 
All right, so you guys are in, guys. In the uh, whoa. Uh, in the uh, Super Bowl Squares promo now, guys. So, you know, basically we are just missing uh, these 32 here. Now remember, guys, this is a guarantee to run promo too, guys. Um, uh, so just remember, though, just I'm just letting you guys know in this video, but I'll tell you guys throughout the rest of the day. Let's just say this card mixer does not sell out today, uh, but breaks tomorrow at some point, either during the Super Bowl or after the Super Bowl. Um, we're still going to do the Super Bowl squares before the Super Bowl starts. It's just that instead of putting a name in a square, we're going to put a team in the square. So let's just say we're going to put Chiefs in uh, in this list right here, right? Let's just say, for instance, we're going to put Chiefs right here. We're going to put Rams here. And then basically what we'll do is um, they'll get assigned a square. And if the Rams were to win a square prize, whoever gets randomized the Rams in the card mixer would get that prize. But I hope we get it done before. So obviously you know for sure, you know, you, your name is in there for a number or not. But uh, that's what we're going to do instead. So that way we can still run the promo regardless. And then whenever the card mixer does sell out, if one of those teams wins a prize, then that's an added bonus for, like, getting randomized the Rams or, or the Chiefs, etc. So uh, let's try to get it done tonight, though. But if not, like I said, we still have tomorrow, too, as well. Appreciate it, guys. JazbeesCaseBreaks.com.